What's going on everyone? Welcome to this video. So I kind of thought maybe it would be interesting, maybe it would be fun for you guys to kind of see my workflow, I guess you could say, kind of how I make my videos. So I'm going to take you along within my work day to just show you kind of behind the scenes and how I usually make my videos. So. Here we go. First, we gotta film a video. That isn't this one. That's like an actual video. That's like a, yeah, okay. Let's go do that. So I'm still kind of trying to learn how to put the microphone on and stuff. So sometimes it looks a little awkward to me. Maybe not to you guys, but to me, it does sometimes. So I actually just record the audio straight from the voice memos app on my phone and then just send the audio to my computer when I'm ready to edit the actual video. So for some videos I want what's called a b-roll and this is just shots that kind of overlay my talking or a lot of times I put them in my intro before I actually start talking and I actually use this. This is a stabilizer so it helps keep the camera stable and so it's not shaky. One of the hardest things for me filming is since my heart beats so hard because I have to work overtime with my condition, uh, I will just hold anything and it's so shaky because my heartbeat just like rattles my body. And so it's, it's really hard, but that's where this comes in handy. I mean, none of us can really hold that still so but uh, I'm going to be using this to get some b-roll shots for these discs video So how I like to schedule usually, I will take usually Monday, maybe Tuesday as well to just record videos and really start editing them. Maybe Monday uh, if I have time, maybe kind of jump into Tuesday if I need to work on videos. But uh, for the most part, Monday I will just try to film all the videos that I can, all the videos that I want to do and whatever and so that means we trick you guys and we change our outfits for the different videos so that you guys think we're doing them on different days so i gotta at least change my shirt for this next video you won't see my shorts in either of them so it doesn't even matter so but i gotta change my shirt to trick you guys <laughs> Okay, let's go do this one. Okay, so this tripod stand actually is meant for, technically, it's meant for these studio lights that I have. But the tripod that I was using for my camera broke. It was a pretty cheap one. I was just like, eh, I really don't want to get a new one at the moment. And then I just had this thought of like, well, why don't I use this? There's no reason I can't use this. And it has been glorious recommend it anyway so yeah I use this mainly for my camera tripod but if it ever was nighttime or dark when I was filming uh, I have multiple of these tripod stands and uh, studio lights to light up my videos to make it look like as if it's still light out so the camera that I usually use to film my videos is a Canon Rebel T5. It's not a bad camera by any means, but it's got a few downsides that I, I really need to invest in a new camera. Just because for this one, there's no pop-out screen. So I can't pop this screen out and be able to see myself and make sure I'm in focus and everything's 
still running and everything. So I just, I give myself about 10 minutes of recording time before I gotta hit the record button again. And also it doesn't have an auto focus, like a live auto focus, so I have to auto focus it ahead of time or focus it ahead of time before I can start actually recording the video. It doesn't just automatically like track my face and start auto focusing on it. So I can make it kind of hard when I'm filming by myself because, you know, I'm like, okay, hopefully it's in focus, you know, hopefully I got it in focus. Uh, so that's, th that's two big downfalls of this camera and one or two reasons I really need to look into a new camera. Uh, but again, it's, it's really not that bad of a camera. Those are just the two downfalls. I mean, I guess I can add a third and say that it only allows me to record up to 10 minutes before I gotta hit the record button again. So sometimes I could be rambling and then all of a sudden I lost like five minutes of my discussion, talking, whatever, because I forgot, oh, the camera stopped. So something a lot of people have kind of realized watching my videos and I hope is a good thing is most of the time I never script my videos. I mean, I kind of have an outline in my head of kind of how I want it to go and kind of the highlights that I want to do for the particular video, but I never necessarily have a script, like type out or write out a script and then sit and follow it because I honestly don't like doing that. I just don't. I like being more raw, more personable, more me, and that's, I just feel like if I do script out videos, then it's really not me, my personality coming out in the video. And a lot of people have kind of noticed that, and again, I hope is a, a good thing. And so, here I am, jumping into this video, gonna record this video, and I have no idea what I'm gonna say. I know what I want to say, I just don't know how I'm gonna say it. Okay, so then once I've finished recording, once I've gotten all the footage that I want for these particular videos, for the time being, I get editing. So, as we see here, I have three screens here. So if I wake up the computer, then I have these two screens are my computer. So usually I will have my editing program over on this screen, on the big screen, so I can really see what's going on. So once that pulls up, we'll put that up over there. And then over on this screen is where I have any other information to reference or any other stuff I need to see while I'm editing. So like I'll have the folders and files open that I'll need to be working with. Oh hi, this just decided to pop in. So we'll move this over here oh make it full screen oh hi go away and we'll make it full screen and this will be for all my editing stuff and then again over here uh, i have the the folder the files that i'm going to be working with uh, within the editing within the video that i'm editing and then like if i needed anything from the internet i'll have it over here just so that I can keep this going here while I do all the extra stuff over here. And then uh, usually I have my iPad just kind of as a third 
screen for any information I might need to hurry and look up or maybe to respond to text or something or to look at something on Twitter or whatever. It's just kind of the extra that I might need at times. And so yeah, I'm going to start editing one of the videos that I just recorded and yeah, go from there. So I forgot to mention, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. So I have to put the the SD card that I used to film my videos onto my computer so then I transfer them over to my hard drive so that everything I'm working with on the editing program is straight from the hard drive rather than the SD card so then if I did need to hurry and go get some other quick bits and pieces of footage or whatever or hurry and take a thumbnail which <laughs> I need to do. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you. Um, I can take this out and go do whatever I need to do without having to shut this down, close it down. You know, I can keep it up, keep it running, keep it where it's at, and, you know, then add anything else that I needed to after. I decided before I want to edit, I want to eat because it's 2.30. I haven't eaten anything. A plus, though, is that you have pups all day with you. Okay, so I finished editing the video, and then while I have it export, I work on the thumbnail. And so, here is the thumbnail. I use this site called Canva to do my thumbnails currently. There's probably, definitely, way better options out there, but it's what I'm working with currently, and I've actually really enjoyed it. It's actually been great. So. But there's the thumbnail! Okay, so I thought I would show you guys kind of how I uh, edit my thumbnails, create my thumbnails, because I kind of forgot the last video. So, what I usually do, and I'm trying better, trying to do better at taking an actual thumbnail picture, uh, is I will first send my picture that I took to my phone because I have an editing software on my phone that I use so I'll spruce up the photo kind of brighten it pop out the colors a bit more and whatnot and then I'll send it back to my computer to add like the words and all the art and whatnot oh I sent it to my iPad <laughs> whoops hold please So next, usually I like to get whatever video I just finished uploading because unfortunately where I live, I live in Retirement City, so we have the slowest internet in this town that you could ever possibly think of. And so this like 10 minute video says it's going to take, well it hasn't even calculated it yet, but probably at least two, two and a half hours to upload. Now this video isn't going up tonight or today it's going up tomorrow but I like to get it uploading just because again it takes hours so here is kind of what you do to get a video uploading so I already got the title I got uh, now I'm working on the description so I actually have like some pre-save stuff for my description and then I'll go like this and add whatever else I'm going to add for the video and then you have the thumbnail and you can add it to a playlist 
and then you have other information that you have to fill out um, as you go. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now before I start editing the other video. I'm not sure if I'm going to quite get done the video, the other video today. I actually took a nap um, after I finished filming the videos and before I started editing. Um, and I like to try to stop working on anything YouTube once my mom gets home from work because then I help her with dinner and uh, help with the dogs or whatever and so you know it's kind of like my work day is done once she gets home uh, so and I only have like a half hour to an hour until she'll be home so I just don't think I'm gonna get this other video finished before then so I'll probably have to finish it tomorrow and then obviously I gotta edit this video at some point so yeah that's that's kind of where we're at now with this process it is definitely a process but you know I got I got my jams I've been jamming that is essential for me is to have jams to listen to while I'm doing all this and then again the workflow goes here the extra goes here the well it's more so the work flow goes here, the information or references go here, the extra goes here. I forgot to quickly mention, uh, because this video is going up tomorrow and not like right when it uploads, uh, this is so, so nice. Uh, I can actually schedule the video to go up, so then whenever it is uploaded, it'll just save it and go up whenever that may be. So we're going to have it go up tomorrow and then... I like to have my videos go up at 9 a.m. I just feel like that's a nice kind of middle ground. You don't have to wait too long in the morning, but it's also like not super early, so you don't miss out on the premiere. So, yeah, just kind of a little, little fun fact there. Okay, guys, so before we wrap up this video, I wanted to make kind of an announcement. I don't know if it's really an announcement, but just kind of what... I am doing what I'm going to try. So I have kind of decided I wanted to make a dedicated upload schedule because I worry that you guys are always kind of guessing when I'm going to upload, what days I'm going to upload, what days I'm not going to upload and whatnot. So I want to try to make a dedicated upload schedule. So here is my thought of how I am going to upload from now on. We're going to see how it goes first, see how it works, and see if you guys like it, see if it works for me and everything. So I'm thinking of more or less uploading every other day-ish. Basically, I'll have three uploads a week, and they will be on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So my first video of the weeks will go up on Tuesday. The last will go on Saturday, but we'll also still have the live streams on Friday evenings. So that is kind of what I'm thinking currently. That's what I want to do. I want your guys' input in the comments below of this video, what you guys think of that. We're going to try it for a few weeks, see how it works for me, see if you guys like it, and hopefully it'll make it so that you guys don't have to guess when I'm going to upload so that you guys can get excited for when I do upload next and you can look forward to that now. So let me know what you guys think of that and we'll try this and I hope you guys get excited for that because now y'all will know when I'm going to upload. So guys that's going to do it for this video. I just kind of wanted to give you a little behind the scenes of kind of my workflow and kind of wor work days of YouTube and kind of how I do everything. Uh, obviously, this isn't exactly how every video goes because every video is different. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed and it gave you kind of some insight on how it all goes down for me. So guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye!